Hello there, this is Ani. Welcome to my Piston and Redstone world. Today I'm going to show you something that I think will benefit map makers greatly, immensely and quite a lot in fact. Yes, that will do. But first in order to do that, let us change our game mode to survival. Good. Hmm. Right. Of course, a proper honest stuff's video cannot start without me failing, of course not. So, as a map maker, these are new tools that you have used, no doubt, in your new maps. These are all awesome things and you like it. However, there is one thing that I'm pretty sure infuriates a lot of new map makers. Also, the time is about to go down and monsters about to come out, so we can't have that now, can we? No. So. Are you tired of players being able to just grab stuff? Suppose you have a sword shop in your map and there is a sword and at the sword shop you want players to be able to buy say a stone sword. You don't want them to grab the a diamond sword that is on the top of the you know acting as a sign on top of the store. You don't want them to do this. But you can't, can you? No. Of course not. I mean, that would be insane, not being able to break item frames. Am I correct? Am I correct in assuming so? Indeed it is. It is quite impossible to be not able to break item frames and not get items from them, or not be able to break paintings. No, that would be quite impossible in indeed. Quite impossible. Quite the impossibility, is it not? Won't some players, won't some people would say quite the impossibility? Won't it be impossible to not be able to break chest mine cards or storage mine cards or any mine cards or even a freaking boat or even hurt this chicken? No, that seems rather the impossibility, does it not? Indeed it does. And yet that has just been made possible by my good buddy Texel Elf, who has made a new filter that allows you to do this, to do just that. Yeah, you saw it. Also, this also works. Hi. No damage to the entities. This filter is able to make invulnerable entities yeah i would suggest you not to put this on uh, mine cards because they tend to become a bit glitchy like so not on neither on boats because they tend to sink for some reason i would advise you to not do that however for paintings and item frames making them you can still rotate them but you cannot interact with them because simply because you can't break them that is one of the amazing things ever. Oh, by the way, TNT doesn't work either. I'll show you. Oh, by the way, the creeper couldn't blow it up because... See, they stay. They don't break off. Well, they will break off when the block updates, but those didn't. So, if you have... Uh, that's why I tested on this obsidian. <laughs> It was completely intact when the sandstone near it just broke away and then the thing updated and fell. And that is insane. You, you can also make invulnerable mobs. Like, they won't take any sort of damage at all. At all. Like, no damage at all. In creative mode, if you can't even... You're not even able to hurt them. Like, the creeper would just ignore me because I wouldn't be able to hurt it in creative mode. If if the creeper had that thing on. Also, these are basically undeletable. Yeah. You can't delete them. The only way to delete these things would be to, well, if it was a mob, you could just turn it to peaceful and it would go away if it was a hostile mob. Or you can just go in MC edit and delete the entities. And that's also a boat that's quite glitchy. Like I said, see, see, it sinks every so often. I don't know what's up with that. So I'd suggest not to use it on these things. But paintings and item frames, just got an upgrade. Unbreakability. Uninteractability. Item frames, you can actually use them as signs in your maps. 
Isn't that awesome or what? Players can't take out swords from them. And I think that's gonna be a brilliant addition to any map. Like, I'm pretty sure map makers have been very infuriated by the fact that, well, item you can interact item frames and they can't have they can have signs but players will be able to take items out of it so i'm this is an amazing filter and i'm very glad that i'm like i'm insanely glad that you know i i just don't believe it that he named the filter after me it's called oni invulnerability <laughs> uh, uh direct link to download the filter is in the description a link to his site where there are many more awesome filters that you really really should check out is also in the description as well as a link to his own YouTube channel this also happens they're invulnerable those things are so uh, they don't take damage from lava fancy that I tried having a lava boat with uh, both uh, minecarts and a boat unfortunately they sink they don't float in lava so uh, we can't have a lava boat yet sadly well not this way but yeah they are invulnerable they're just uh, down there so uh, this is an awesome filter and awesome awesome for you know using paintings and um, item frames in custom maps that along with do mob griefing off and um, mob griefing false and um, you pretty much got uninteractable signs. Isn't that awesome? That is indeed awesome. This was Oni in a return to red electricity video with an awesome, awesome new filter. Do check him out. Check out his other filters. Check out Texel's other filters. And uh, I will catch you again on the next video. Till then, see you later. This is Oni. Bye.